right, coming up next is a middleweight matchup between the last style bender, Israel Adesanya, and George Rush St. Pierre. All right, so here's the legend, George St. Pierre, former UFC welterweight champion, former UFC middleweight champion, and DC as one of the most decorated wrestlers on this UFC roster. You gotta be pretty amazed at what this man has been able to accomplish without any amateur wrestling credentials to speak of. Yeah, with no background, the guys that he's been in there with and controlled the wrestling exchanges has truly been unbelievable to watch. I was in Canada when he fought Josh Koscheck, and he took Josh Koscheck who was an NCAA champion down whenever he needed to. Right. But it was also the striking that made him so dangerous. I remember George St. Pierre had this combination. It was a lead jab, a lead Superman jab into the leg kick. Everyone wanted to try and do it, and they say imitation is the greatest form of getting a compliment. We all tried to beat George St. Pierre. And he's got more SPs than you. He does. He's a man. <laughs> All right, so here he is, the inimitable last style bender, Israel Adesanya, still undefeated as a mixed martial artist. DC, you tried to bring him in to emulate John Jones back in the day, and he's such a meticulous, thoughtful guy that he said no because Luke Rocco was in that gym and he thought he might have to fight him one day. He knew that at some point he would reach Luke Rocco in his division, so he said, you know what? I want to help you, DC, but I can't because of what's going to happen going forward in my career. He did not want to put Luke or himself in such an awkward situation. How about forward thinking? How about I'm forward thinking that that would have come to pass only a few short years later? But in Israel Asanya, you also have the mentality, but the fighting ability to become a UFC champion in only 12, 13 months. Our tale of the tape for this much anticipated middleweight encounter. GSP is eight years his senior. Adesanya is six inches tall. He will have a four inch reach advantage. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. It's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 26 wins, two losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, George Rush St. Pierre! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Good takedown defense by Israel. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Out of range with that one. Oh, he lands the 
Superman punch. Oh, no, no. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He's a first one. Go finish his fight. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Now goes in and secures the takedown. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good work from the top here by GSP. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Nice punch, man, over the top. Lands an outside leg kick of his own. Over and over, he landed a big body. All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action, and it worked in this instance. Under three minutes now to go in round one. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Well, he's got his back now. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Ground and pound strike is true. Two minutes now to go in round one. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patty. St. Pierre's attempting a rear naked choke now. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. He takes his opponent to his side to try to get the finish. Looks nicely done. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, still plenty of time to go here in round one, but maybe to the surprise of his opponent, he has come out so aggressive here tonight, he has landed a ton of strikes here early and gotten off to a nice start. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. That uppercut later. Final second to round one. Strong five minutes down. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Okay, you ready?
ready, round two. Ready? Second round here. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big kick land. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just misses with the straight left hand. GSP gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game. Not a lifetime in the UFC, but you see, this is a lifelong striker who is very dangerous with all limbs. Yeah, and when you're standing with Israel, you're in trouble. Man. You're in the constant attack the whole time because you never know what he's going to hit you with. And right there, he lands the strike that he was looking for. Bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh! He's oh! Oh my goodness! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh! Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. It's a big hook. hip into that kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Effective strike there by Adesanya. So there, and here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. That strike blocked by Adesanya. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Adesanya gets looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Superman punch. I mean, he's 
cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that's the end of five minutes. That's the end of the round. You see the cut on his lip, and that thing is only getting worse. Pretty nasty gash at this point in time. You know he's going to need some sutures after the fact. The focus right now, though, keeping his head in the game. Don't think about the cut. You got to think about getting your offense going and shoring up that defense to prevent that cut from getting any worse. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. He blocks the punch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Takedown defense holds up. St. Pierre's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big punch land. Ooh. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he's he can out. get the finish. Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round with the high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Vulcan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. It didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by George St. Pierre. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective. Whoa! He tasted that knockout life! He tasted the knockout life! He got him! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there. And I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head. But ultimately, this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. So there he is as the celebration continues. A huge knockout for him here tonight. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, George Rush St. Pierre! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.